Are we going to now finally talk about the white on white violence that permeates white culture, Michael? <laughs> I guess I could talk about that. I was going to talk about how you can train your brain to feel more compassion, but I guess we'll get to that later. Yeah, that's all yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Who needs that? <laughs> uh, but uh, this past weekend in Keene, New Hampshire, which again is not that far from where I grew up in Western Massachusetts, something very disturbing happened. A group of angry, disenfranchised... Thugs. Right? Thugs? Thugs. People with, with no respect hoodies? for society, with their, their gangster attitudes and their lack of respect for America's norms and ways went on a rampage. Um, and this rampage, like so many other rampages um, from marginalized communities, was motivated by something really legitimate. Oh, wait, excuse me. It was a pumpkin fest <laughs> in Keene, New Hampshire. And a bunch of white frat people felt inspired to burn some cars and riot. And I think when we look at the big picture here and we look at white people campaigning with Scott Brown in another part of New Hampshire and we look at the fact that in my hometown of Amherst a couple years ago an entire apartment complex had basically a warfare with cops because to, well, to fight for your right to party, frankly. It's time that those of us in the white community stop making excuses. You know, people pointed this out on Twitter that it's not enough for us to say anymore that it's just a few bad apples or that there isn't a problem with whiteness. You know, every day it seems like calling on the African-American community to say, don't worry about the employment numbers. Don't worry about getting shot in the face by a cop. Don't worry about the prison industrial complex. Worry about your pants, which incidentally isn't a thing anymore. <laughs> okay, people don't wear low baggy pants anymore. That hasn't been fashionable for a long time. In fact, well-fitting tight, tight pants is sort of the thing right now. Much more trendy amongst all races, including thuggish white people. <laughs> With their tight pants, their hoodies, and their frat boy attitudes. And I just want to say... Their backwards baseball caps. Their backwards baseball caps. And I just want to say as a white person that I've had enough. It's time for us to clean up ship, take care of our own house. White people are the mother load of bad ideas. <laughs> <laughs> They, and they, whether they, they, it's they, unfit white people with their video games harassing chicks online or a, might, a more fit kind of white bro burning out a jalopy because of a pumpkin. I don't really understand why. Look, I get it. At the sports events, at least there's clear causality. Your team won, so fuck yeah, let's burn a car. Or your team lost, so fuck no, let's burn a car. That at least is understandable to my own white brainstem. But it's time for us as white people to call for higher standards from our culture. And it's time for us to stop making excuses. So I say starting today as a white person, I'm going to be it's going to begin during the next uh, St. Patty's Day celebration in New York. I'm going to go up to the first belligerent white person I say I see and I'm going to say you are a real shame to your community, sir. And ban pumpkins. And ban pumpkins. Because that's the problem. 